What's up, everybody? John Eric Pola here, continuing to hand out grades for some of the top players on the ATP Tour. And today, we're going to talk about Daniil Medvedev, who had a great 2023. His year kind of got overshadowed a little bit with all of the success by, of course, Novak Djokovic, but also by Carlos Algarez as well. But Medvedev really did have a solid year, and I'm going to give him a B plus, and that's just because he did not win a major tournament, but still... He had a huge 2023. So look at his record first and foremost. He went 66 and 18. Those 66 wins, the most on the ATP Tour this year in 2023. That's big, okay? He had a great year. Again, it was just the major tournaments was the only thing that he was kind of leaving the meat on the bone, you could say, because he ended up winning five titles this year. But the major tournaments was where we didn't see it, okay? He had that early exit in the Australian Open, which was disappointing to see for somebody of his caliber on the hard courts, too. That's his best surface. Would have liked to see him perform better there. Uh, Then, of course, the French Open. We know that he's not a clay guy, but still top player in the world. Like to see him do a little bit better there. Then, I mean, the last two majors... All right, he lost to Carlos Algarez in the semifinals. We know that Algarez went on to win the whole entire tournament, beating Novak Djokovic in five sets. So he was right there. Then, of course, the U.S. Open, he loses in the finals to Novak Djokovic, which is, seems to be a running theme in his career. I know Novak's been really tough on him in finals uh, of Grand Slam tournaments. Um, but still, he did perform at a high level in those tournaments, just did not get over that yeah, that last little bit there to win one of those. But still, great year. He led the year, uh, led the tour and wins this year. Great year. Hopefully he can build upon it. I'd really like to see Medvedev get a second title in there somewhere. I know he's been so, so, so close to winning another Grand Slam. It would really be nice to see him get another one under his belt there. Hopefully he can do it in 2024. But hey, 2023, still a solid year. He's still one of the top players in the world. We'll see if he can get over that hump here in 2024.